My name is Liz Werbe. I'm the Executive Director of the Harvard Museum of Natural History, and I want to welcome you all to our new exhibition, The Language of Color. We're really excited about this exhibition. It's the kind of project that only could be undertaken and carried out at Harvard, where we have extraordinary collections that you'll see today. And we can leverage the work of scientists like Hopi Hoekstra and Jonathan Losos, who have helped to shape this exhibition which reveals the incredible diversity of the natural world and gives us some insight into how and why that diversity has evolved. Hi, I'm Hobie Hoekstra. I'm the Curator of Mammals here at the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard University. We as humans see the world in, in a certain way, but that's not the same way that many other organisms see their environments. While we have a visual system that's very good for our lifestyle, that is being diurnal, awake in, in daylight hours, for example, um, other organisms are much better than we are, for example, at seeing at night. There's also um, different types of color that we can't, as humans, see. Ultraviolet um, is a, a great example. Some birds um, can see in the ultraviolet, and they actually have um, feathers and pigments that reflect in ultraviolet that are used as signals to each other that we, as humans, through our visual system, just can't perceive. So here what you're looking at is um, a zebra hide, of one of the three species of um, zebra that roam the plains in Africa. The striping patterns of zebra and their purpose has been um, long debated in the literature. And I think there's still a number of competing hypotheses um, as to why zebra have, zebras have stripes. Another interesting thing about zebras is um, uh, we're starting to understand or develop hypotheses about how zebra stripes are formed. Different species have ze of zebras have different stripes, different number of stripes. So some species have wider stripes and others have more narrow stripes. We think that this has to do with timing during development when um, an embryo of a zebra starts to develop those stripes. And if you de de depending on the timing of, de of, of development, when those stripes are formed, you can imagine later in life, you would have, uh, and you differentiate these stripes, um, you, you'd have more stripes that were smaller. If you differentiate between the white and black stripes earlier in development, you would have few fewer stripes that would end up being wider. So color is used for a variety of purposes. One of the most dramatic ways color is used is to um, give a signal of toxicity or distastefulness. So these um, pictures here, what you're looking at, are um, insects and other um, invertebrates or vertebrates that are displaying their toxicity to potential predators. By being brightly colored, they're saying, hey, don't eat me, um, I'm toxic. This same message is being used, um, can be used by a number of different organisms, including these butterflies. Um, what you're seeing here are um, some butterflies that are displaying their dis distastefulness or toxicity with these bright orange and yellow colors. But, um, but something else is going on here, and that is a, um, a phenomenon we refer to as mimicry, and it speaks to the ingenuity of evolution by natural selection. That is, these bottom row of butterflies aren't distasteful at all, yet they still display that bright color pattern. And what they're doing is effectively mimicking, mimicking um, the toxic species um, and thereby getting the benefit of predators thinking that they're also toxic, even though they taste just fine. Chameleons are fascinating not only because they can be brightly colored, but they can also change color. Um, it was long thought that chameleons changed color to blend into their environment, so that if they were on a green background, they would turn green, and if they were on a brown background, they would turn brown. But in fact, recently, um, researchers have convincingly shown that color and the ability to change color in chameleons is actually used um, as a form of communication. And they actually can display their emotions through um, changes in color, rather than hiding themselves from predators.